Hey everyone, Roger here from Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe. Today I'm going to be going over the BM700 scan tool made by Ansel. This is something that you can purchase from Amazon and I'm extremely impressed with all the functions of this professional grade scanner. The benefits of using this scanner is that it works on all vehicle electrical systems and it works with E-series, F-series, and G-series vehicles. Now why would I recommend the scan tool? Well, it pays for itself within uh, the first use. You know, most repair shops charge over $100 an hour and uh, the cost of the scan tool is about $129.99 and there's a coupon that I saw on Amazon for $30 off so it equals the $129.99 and if you're doing some common repairs you still have to go to repair shops to finish off and complete those repairs that includes things like battery registrations you replace the battery yourself you can find that you have to register the battery, you got to send it out to a repair shop and they're going to charge you at least an hour to run that test and complete that process for you and that's going to cost you over a hundred bucks anyway. So why not get a great scan tool that does tons more. So it does injector calibration, CBS reset correction, steering angle sensor calibration, you can reset your EGS or transmission adaptations. If you have a diesel, it does DPF regeneration. Um, you can do an EVAP system test if you're chasing a leak in the EVAP system. And it scans all the fault codes. It does airbag codes. You can clear your codes. Uh, you can read your readiness monitors. Uh, there's so much that you can do that you really should have this scan tool in your repair arsenal. And uh, I'm going to hook it up to this E46 I have behind me. I have a check engine light. I did replace the fuel pump, so I expect it to have uh, misfire faults. I haven't scanned it yet. This is my first time using the tool on this particular vehicle. I did use it at work, and I found it to be very helpful and very fast. So again, it's a great tool to have, highly recommended. I'll make sure to put a link in the comments section of this video. All right, let's open it up and take a quick peek at the quality of the scan tool and it comes with the regular OBD2 connector. Um, there's a cable in here for updates. It does have a manual, which it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're a manual reader, I did look it over. I do like to read the manuals. All right, it's got uh, a rubber um, protection cover on it, which uh, is great, so you're not bumping it around and causing damage. It is very light. It's got a nice long cable so that you can uh, actually have it plugged in and maybe even be in the passenger seat if you're actually checking live data while you're driving. So looks to be uh, a very quality product right here. Let's plug it into this E46 and see uh, what codes I have. All right, let's plug it in. Got a nice screen. OBD2 for BMW, oil reset, electronic parking brake, EPB reset, battery, um, BMS reset, ETC reset, and tool setup. Let's key it on and let's start the scan. So we're going to do four BMW. It's not a touch screen, though I really wanted to press the button. Just hit up and down, left and right, and then the OK screen. Okay, so this is for both the 20 pin and 16 pin. You'd have to use a special connector if you have an early E46. But for this particular vehicle, we have the regular OBD2. I'm going to hit OK. So this does BMW, Mini, Rolls Royce. So I'm going to hit uh, BMW, it's a 3 Series, it's an E46, this does do E90s, E91, 92, 93, right, which is two-door, touring, and convertible, and F30 vehicles, F34, and even the F80 M3. So we're going to do basic functions, 
and let that communicate. Let me turn the blower off so I'm not draining the battery. I do have a battery charger set up. And we're going to do system scan. And it's going to go through each control module. You can see my engine control module has five codes. And it's reading the EGS right now. And it's at 5%. All right, that took about less than two minutes to scan the whole car. That's fast. Now, they really do mean a multi-system scanner. There's my inch computer is the number one, the one that's highlighted. It's got five codes. It, this does EWS, ABS, LEW, steering angle sensor, multifunction steering wheel. There's an airbag system, board monitor faults. Right, instrument cluster, park distance control, the light switching center, IHKA, which is the heater control panel, the rain light sensor, ZKE, that's the old um, acronym for the general module or central body electronics, seat memory, right, you can see that too. Man, this is great. Radio, navigation, sliding sunroof, ULF, SBX, if it has it, that's the telephone module on this car. ECM, EWS, we're back to that. Okay, so we're back to the beginning. I want to see what I have for my fault codes. Alright, so let's go into the DME, or they call it the ECM, Engine Control Module, and see what I have. So you have version, you can read what version DME you have, read fault codes, erase fault codes, or leave, read live data, which is important in diagnostic steps. Let's see what we have for fault codes. Oh, I got a DMTL fault. Hmm, didn't even know about that one. Alright, so that would be with an EVAP system test. We could see if there is an actual leak. Um, most common cause is a loose gas cap. Uh, but that's something that we'll have to run and see. Alright, so press down. Right, fuel trim. That could be an air leak. Or it could be because of low fuel pressure, which is what this car had. And then bank one also, fuel trim, bank one, and control limit, and fuel trim, control limit. So all of those have to do with fuel trim. Um, I expected misfire faults because the car was not running well. But when you have a fuel pump that's not outputting the correct amount of pressure, you often end up with fuel trim faults. So that is not unusual with this car actually needing a fuel pump, which is already replaced. So for this car with the check engine light, I basically just want to clear the codes because I already got it running. Let's see how fast this is. Are you sure? And yes, I am sure. Erase fault code success. Wait 10 seconds. Turn off ignition and then switch, again, switch on again. Now if you have an active fault, your check engine light would come back on and then you'd be able to reread it and see what that active fault is. Okay. And then I can reread my fault memory and I should have no fault codes. So I just went to the special functions menu just by hitting back. And let's see, we got reset service interval, engine control module, ABS, and EGS. So let's try engine control module. Clear adaptations. Well, that is a good idea since my adaptations are all messed up for from uh, having that uh, fuel pump. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the adaptation values while I'm here. And that's all reset. Nice. Nice and fast and easy. While I'm in the screen, let's take a look at these other red highlighted components are and what faults they might be. I know that this needs a steering angle sensor. So let's see, the steering angle sensor internal and brief power interruption. Okay, escape. Let's see, this is the airbag system. Let's see what we have for our airbag code. Power supply, okay, so the battery maybe went dead at some point and that's just an old, old code. Board monitor. Let's see, radio status, watchdog reset, telegram timeout. That's usually kind of like garbage faults that don't mean absolutely anything. Instrument cluster, we have five faults. 
in the instrument cluster. Okay. Tank lever type sensor 2. Reset, no can, terminal R. That might be battery voltage. Thermal oil level sensor, that's a pretty common component to go bad on these E46s. So, I don't think any of these codes are active. And let's just see what we have going on in the heater control panel. I mean, it's really good that you can AUC heating. Okay, that's not anything that anyone needs to worry about. Now, you don't have to do a full system scan. If you know what you're looking for, you can go under manual select, and then you can select the component directly to just scan that one. You know, the common thing would be maybe the transmission or the engine control module, right? Which, uh, oops, I don't want to re erase. Read, which we should have no fault codes. What's nice about this is the data stream information that you get. So you get a lot of engine operating data. You can look at your O2 sensor and mixture adaptations, which should be oxygen sensor 1.91. Right, they're not active. The car's not running. You can look at your multiplicative, which is while driving and your additive is at idle so those are your adaptations which were reset because I reset the adaptations now you can view all items or you can select specific items right select items so you can watch your signals specifically while driving if you need it for additional diagnosis. So we get idle, smooth running values. That's important to see if you have a misfire, right? And this would give you your smooth running values with the engine running and you can help identify which cylinders might be actually having a misfire. So there's a lot of great information that you can read out using this scan tool. Right, engine idle. You know, another one for an E46 is EWS diagnosis. Sometimes can be difficult to see if a key is reading correctly. I'm curious to see what you can see in EWS. All right, so I'm not. I know I don't have any faults. Let's see what data stream. View all items. All right, so starter enabled. No. Starter motor off. Speed exceeded. No. Start a motor block due to park neutral, yes. Right, well, I don't have my foot on the clutch pedal. Look at that, this is live data. I press down on the clutch, look, my starter is enabled, and it switched right over to no longer being blocked. I take my foot off, and it switched over. This is great, so live data, it changes on the fly as I'm going. It's continuously talking to the car, and this is great, so this is, Amazing for helping to diagnose problems like this. All right, starter block due to uh, double lock. Yep, it can do that. So you want to check that. Starter block due to BC code if you have a BC function. All right, so you can say, you can find out if your key is reading. A lot of times it's a bad key or it's not sending the right password or the random code is messed up. All of this shows okay. It would tell you right here if you had a problem. Right, you can see what key number it is. This is key four. It's transmitting. Oops, too far, too fast. All right, so key disabled. It's not. Right, terminal R is on. DME wire enabled. And this is another one that's very important: the selector lever clutch switch. Right, driving position. So a lot of times I've had failures or problems inside transmissions or the fuse is blown from a bad oil level sensor and it no longer reads park reverse neutral drive correctly on regular E46s with automatic transmission and that would show up right here and then you'd realize that it has something to do with the transmission and if you go a little bit deeper you find that the oil level sensor has a fuse that is related to the transmission for the range selector and when the oil level sensor overloads it pops the fuse and you replace the fuse replace your oil level sensor and you're on your way so that would help lead to a quick diagnosis if you knew what you were looking for so this is great so 
I mean, I'm just going over a few things in here that you can do. Um, I did go over the list of things that this skin tool can accomplish for you at a great price. I am very happy with this purchase and I would highly recommend it to all of my viewers just because of the cost effective effectiveness and the ease of use of this scan tool. Very, very happy with it. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you get as much use and versatility out of this Ansel scan tool, the BM700, as I know I will. I'm going to use it both home and in the workplace to speed up my diagnosis and uh, just in general this would definitely speed up the whole process.